Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Good afternoon. We have a uh, kind of a short work day here. I had some stuff going on uh, between the boys' school and some other things this morning. So I only have a couple hours here before it's going to start getting dark. Uh, but with that, I'm not going to have uh, too lofty of a uh, of goal, I don't feel like being overly ambitious today. Um, but I do know that the very next step here for us is to get this subfascia done. And while I'd love to get it done on both sides, especially on the gable ends, so you can see here to here, down to here, um, we have to get that that uh, two by six subfascia on. I can't get it on the other end. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on getting this one done. I need to finish up on the eve end over here, this last piece, and then take it up to the peak on the gable end and then connect with the one that I already have over here. Um, so it really shouldn't take too much time, um, but I think I'm gonna fill up all my my daylight, uh, avail availability of daylight with just getting that done. And this is really tricky. Let me show you something really quickly. So with this lift, it's really handy. It's a four wheel drive, all terrain. So it does a great job going on the gravel, but for it to be able to extend up, it has to be within a certain margin of error of being level. Otherwise, as it lifts, it, it's liable to tilt one way or the other. So it's really tricky on this where we've got now gravel, but then frozen gravel, and then the snow piling that's turning into ice. It's really tricky to get a level spot so that the lift feels stable enough to be able to allow it to, to rise. So I had trouble with this spot here, but we were able to kind of, you know, cut away some of this, this uh, shale that we had underneath. and. Uh, you just kind of do some uh, some trial and error to drive around until you find a spot that kind of levels out and then uh, you test it by lifting it to see if it'll go up. So I got a spot here where I'm going to be able to get this last piece in. And then along the front here, I've gone up multiple times. Uh, you just kind of have to drive around a little bit until you find a good level, level spot between uh, the four tire positions. Uh, so that's just takes a takes a few minutes to kind of work through that but let me show you here on the back end we just can't get the lift back there we've pinned ourselves in so we've got the the trailer here that's kind of in a temporary spot that's why the skirts off of it we moved it from the upper spot up here to get out of the way for the crane truck to bring the septic tank in so we moved it down to the lower spot in anticipation that we'd shortly have the roof on this that we would just stage it there temporarily to bring it in which is why we haven't done a lot with getting uh, getting the camp reset up over there. But um, once that's out of the way, then we can get the lift out and we have to go up the driveway and then come back down this upper driveway to be able to get back over here to the back. Um, if I were to just kind of drive it through where it is, um, I have an exposed ditch for the water supply line that I'm not gonna be able to, I don't really wanna fill it in until we get uh, our inspection done, but I'm, I might have to, but here you can see it. Here's our water supply ditch. So it's kind of cut off there. So the only other way you can get, oh, and then also you've got this garage door right here, but the clearance isn't high enough to get the lift through it. So the only other way is to come down this other road that was uh, where we had, you know, you can see my truck up there. That's right where the RV was. So we have to be able to come down here and kind of follow the same path uh, that the crane truck did to be able to get to this spot right here to be able to go up there and get the, you can see it right here, right along here. We've got to trim those, all those uh, boards are running long. We'll trim them off two feet and then we'll put the gable end uh, subfascia on. But to be able to do that, I got to get the lift truck back here and uh, it's kind of stuck. I don't have access to this spot here right now. Um, so I'm going to get what we need to get done on the front. And uh, if weather cooperates, hopefully in the next day or so, we're gonna start throwing uh, some steel up on the roof. Um, like I said yesterday, you know, I think we only, if we can get like 12 or 13 sheets up on one side, uh, I feel like that's gonna be a pretty, pretty nice little win for us. That's enough to be able to uh, pull the trailer in um, and just get a covering over it. And then with the trailer out of the way, now we've got all the access that we need to be able to move equipment around and things of that nature. So we're really just focused on everything that we need to do to start putting steel up here in this area right here to start right through here. So I'm going to get to work. I'm going to stop talking. Like I said, only a couple hours of daylight. So let's see if I can get this done.
Okay, quick update here. Uh, the time lapse failed, but I finished up this uh, one uh, even that's over here. So that's all done in the corner. Even got this front piece up. I got to trim all those tails and then moving up here to the peak. Um, hopefully, just uh, shouldn't be too bad. The lift, uh, I got lucky. The first spot I tried to park the lift, it was able to, it was level enough to be able to. Uh, to go up so well, hopefully I get as lucky there in that middle position uh, might be one or two positions in the middle to be able to get up to that peak but we're making progress I got about an hour left of daylight so hopefully I can get this done We got it done. So I don't know if you can tell, it's getting dark, but you can see on that front gable end that uh, subfacia is done all the way from one side to the other, all the way up to the peak up there. Um, it's nice getting something done. I mean, and saying you wanna get it done at the beginning of the day and then actually getting it done is, is nice. That's two days in a row. I've accomplished what I've uh, set out to accomplish and I think that's just because I haven't decided to bite off more than I could actually chew. But uh, we're getting there. I think if things uh, if things go well with weather tomorrow, I want to start on the the, uh, the soffits. And uh, the process for that is there's this uh, metal trim piece. It's called an F and J, which gives you a basically a track or a channel that goes horizontally that you can slide the the soffit into, and then it gives you one vertically that you can slide uh, the the. the wall steel up up into so it kind of holds two different slots going um, in perpendicular directions and then you just kind of nail the soffit up to the bottom of that uh, the subfascia so then you've got the soffit covered and then there's a metal kind of L piece of, of fascia that covers that and then you've got uh, the roof steel which will go over top uh, so but I think the way the way you kind of do it and I've never done this before but you start with that F and J trim and then you do your soffit and then you do your fascia and then you can go up to the roof steel. Um, and that's just kind of working your way up so that you have things overlapping correctly and uh, the, re the finished reveal looks nice. So um, like I said earlier, we want to work on this, this front uh, lakeside corner uh, if we can. If we can get 13, 14 sheets, they're three feet wide each, then we're about 40 feet of the 64 feet cover. That's enough that we can get the trailer uh, pulled in and under cover for winter which would be a huge accomplishment. So we're gonna see if in the next three days um, we can get to that point. And uh, for now, I'm gonna get all the tools cleaned up because uh, there's probably gonna be some more snow coming and I don't wanna get anything buried. All right, see you later.